right inside this building in Lagos, southwest Nigeria, a story is being told. A tale that speaks on the many thought patterns we move around with. What captivates the beholder is the manner through which the artist narrates. These enthusiasts engage the artist to know how close they are to unraveling the mystery of his mind. Yeah, I see something that's both decorative and um, expressive of a message. The employment of surrealism and figurative symbolism as styles in this exhibition titled Morphogenesis is as complex a style as his subject matter, the mind. And for John Madu, it does not get more complicated than that. This is called Within Without. It shows man, an ambitious man, the way his ambitions affect his relationships with people, the way men, because we are chasing stuff, we're chasing things, chasing money, chasing, um, chasing dreams. Our relationships are usually affected by um, all these things we believe in. That's why I portrayed a female figure inside the figure as a whole, basically. Then that one is called the gift of hope, and it talks the the red fly is actually metaphorical for planting a new world and the way we have utopia in our minds, the way we want our world to be, the way we think our world should be. So it's metaphorical. I see from the tree, the tree is symbolic for life and all that. So I put a touch of red to make it show life because red is vibrant. The works are a period of two years, and for John, every second was worth it. John Madu is a self-taught artist attempting to bridge art and emotions. How successfully he has achieved this depends on the feeling of the beholder, and it appears from how he touches on almost all subjects of the mind, it will be difficult not to be drawn in. Born in Bumundi in Bayelsa State, South South Nigeria in 1921, Gabriel Okara had his early education at the Government College in Mwahia, Abia State, and later at the Yaba College in Lagos. He studied journalism at Northwestern University in 1949. In most of his writing, he is always concerned with promoting and celebrating the African culture, which he feels is being eroded, as seen in his poem, Once Upon a Time. His most famous poems are Piano and Drums and You Laughed and Laughed and Laughed. Beyond poetry and fiction, Okara has also written plays and features for broadcasting, although many of his manuscripts were destroyed during the Nigerian Civil War. He won the Commonwealth Prize for Poetry. You can enjoy Art House on any of these platforms. That's how we draw the curtain on today's edition of the show. Thank you so much for spending time with us. I'm Melinda Akinami. Always remember, keep adding color to the world.